Tasmania could soon be leading the way in wind energy. Four turbines have been installed on Hobart's Marine Board building and will be switched on within the next few weeks. They'll produce around 15% of the building's energy and each has a lifespan of 12 to 15 years. Experts say more turbines could be added to buildings across the state. So how viable is wind power? Professor Ed Blakely is an urban planner from Sydney Uni. Morning to you. Good morning. This sounds good, doesn't it? Well, it sounds good. Wind technology is pretty old. Mm. Uh, we've had them in Queensland for a long time. Uh, but it doesn't deliver very much. 15 to 20 percent is good when a building's standing right on the ocean. But most of our buildings aren't right on the ocean. Okay, so isn't it better to start down this track? We're all trying to be green. This sounds like a good idea in some areas. It is good to do in some areas, high in the mountains, I think it makes sense. Right on the ocean, it might make sense. But delivering it to a building that needs that energy and can use it right at that time. Because wind energy doesn't stick around. You have to use it when you've got it. What about the cost of it? Well, it's very expensive, and the cost to generate the wind energy is very expensive as well. About 15 times as expensive as our conventional sources. 15 times. So um, what areas could you see this um, useful in? Uh, you mentioned you know, areas that are, are high in wind. Yes. Can you sort of see it through major cities in the future down the track when we've got the technology better? I doubt it. I think we'll see it in the military for sure because they have their own systems and they can use wind energy on their own reservations. I think we'll see it in places that have separated themselves from the grid or not on the grid and very rural areas and the like. But for big cities, it'll be a supplement. Uh, solar still a bit better uh, because you can do an entire building in solar. Uh, and the technology is improving there much faster. So should more buildings be doing solar? How, how much yes. percentage at the moment are involved? Well, uh, it's not very high yet, but new technologies are coming out so you can use your windows to collect photovoltaics. You can use your roof for photovoltaics. Uh, battery storage is much easier there. You don't have the noise that you have with wind turbines and the like. Uh, you're not disturbing farms or animals or people. So I think solar is probably... Uh, the thing that's in our future for the cities. Okay, we've got all these windows in all these cities around the country, haven't we? So Yes, and we don't have wind everywhere. Mm. Okay, thanks very much for explaining it, Dr. Ed, Professor Ed Blakely. Thank you. Here's Cotty.